Hello, we are already on day one and we are meeting a lot of new people. I'm here with my colleague Fanny. Hello. So Fanny, what's the plan for today? So we were at Eclipse IoT Community Day where we were actually providing information on Xeno and also the reports coming from several sources. One of them being we are B2X top 10 startups and the second one from Amazon and ITU where we are considered as a technology that can fit in today's use cases be it V2X or other industrial use cases. And the next one is we are more excited about is Open Robotics a report coming a few weeks ago where Xeno has considered as ROS2 alternate middleware. So we are pretty excited, excited about that and we are hoping to be a nice collaboration with ROS2 community. So with that, Daniela, do you have anything to add? Uh, yes, we also announced the latest release of Xeno, which is Xeno Dragonize, and we announced the new features and the new updates, uh, and I think that was it. We actually have another talk on the second part of the day, hosted by our CEO and CTO, Angelo Corsaro, and let's go find him to find out more information. Ah, I think I can see Angelo. Angelo? Hey, Daniela. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Hey, everyone. So uh, I was just talking with Fanny about the IoT community day, and I came to find you so you can tell us a bit more what you're planning for your presentation for SDB uh, community day. Talking of which, do you know that Zeno was selected as a community project in SDB? Well, of course I know. Good. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's you know, a good news. We are very, very glad of that. And uh, as a consequence today, I was invited to give a brief introduction to Zeno, which I will do, but I will go a step further. Today, we'll be making a parallel between the robotics market and the robotics requirement and vehicles and vehicles industry in general. An autonomous car is in the end a robot, a big yes. robot, right? Mm -hmm. And already in terms of a platform, even an EV looks a bit like robot. You have similar constraint of communication from microcontroller eventually up to the data center, similar constraint of V2X as opposed to R2X or vehicle to anything as opposed to robot to anything. And as we know, Zeno is becoming very big in robotics. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, there was this super powerful report from uh, Open Robotics and Intrinsics, where after evaluating essentially all the protocols available on the market, uh, they ranked Xeno number one in terms of satisfying requirements in robotics domain. As such, I think there is a potential for a huge uh, synergy and uh, using the same communication protocol between robots <coughs> and vehicle could enable quite a few use cases. So very much looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll keep going forward. <laughs> okay, thank you, Angelo. And now let's go to Ramzi to see his take on EclipseCon. And now I'll give the mic to Ramzi, who's going to tell us about uh, IoT community today. Hi, everyone. Uh, from what I saw this morning in the uh, EclipseCon conference, beside the uh, regular and classical topics uh, addressing uh, the uh, IoT edge uh, cloud native problematics, uh, I'm seeing a, a tremendous raise up in the uh, automotive and mobility uh, community uh, that are now backed by big OEMs uh, to foster the uh, adoption of open source in, uh, in that market. And um, I'm seeing uh, projects ranging from simulation like open uh, pass uh, up to project that addresses uh, V2X type of uh, uh, problematics and in that regard this is where uh, Zeta Scale is bringing an innovative uh, approach to connect uh, uh, cars and uh, to back up the uh, self-defined vehicle technology connect them uh, up to, uh, to the cloud and also assuring communication from vehicle to vehicles. And with that in mind, if you want to learn more information, be sure to tune in here for tomorrow, day two of EclipseCon, or visit our booth, booth number nine uh, at EclipseCon. See you tomorrow. Bye.